How's it going everyone? So I'm in the freestyle barn right now. Brought the skid loader with the forks on. Just open up this middle gate. I'm gonna come in and grab this gate that goes across the end of the crossover. We take the cows from the freestyle over to the milking parlor through here. And there's this gate on the end that's been given a little bit of trouble. You can see it uh, barely even reaches the latch and it doesn't actually lock in. So I could extend the gate out by adjusting these nuts on here, but the problem is we're right at the end of this one. I can't really push the whole thing out two more inches. So I'm just gonna bring the skid loader in, grab it, and we can take it over to the shop and weld a little pipe on the end of this. Should be a pretty easy job. We moved into this barn in 2004, and all this gate work is the original. You can see the bottom rungs are pretty much all rusting out. This one's completely missing. At some point, we're gonna need to replace a bunch of gates. I'm just gonna cut off this beat up part, make a smooth end on that pipe, and then find another one to weld onto it. We'll make sure it's a couple inches longer then. I really haven't been doing too much welding around here. Probably should be doing that more often so I get better at it. Seems like when we have a harder welding job, we just end up taking it to the neighboring welding shop and they can fix them up. They got the right tools to do a better job than I would, but little stuff I need to be able to weld. That pipe's a little bit heavier than I thought it would be. See if I can go find one to fit onto there. I thought I had spare pipe the same size. I didn't have anything quite as thick. So I stuck two pieces together. Just weld this up. Should be strong enough for as long as this gate's gonna last. Now my mask isn't working. Use this old one. There we go. Not the nicest welds. Hopefully it'll get covered in cow manure pretty quick. Nobody will see them. I think it's strong enough. This latch is getting a little worn out too. Probably be best if it was 
about three quarters of an inch shorter there so it wouldn't catch that. I might just go get a wrench and we'll just adjust these back. Probably the best way to do it. I had said sometime I wanted to go over my thoughts on the Easy Fix flex stalls and Jupiter mattresses we got from Easy Fix last year. These were put in six months ago and then that group got them about a year ago. The purpose of these flexible stall dividers is just so when cows get up and down, push against them, uh, it's just a little more comfortable for them, a little bit easier for them to, to move. We put it in the groups that have the older cows, the bigger cows that have a higher chance of bumping into the steel stalls. My main concern putting them in was, are the cows gonna lay, are they gonna cheat the stalls and lay into two stalls and take up too much space? And I really haven't seen much of that. The other nice thing about these is they're just lower maintenance. The old steel stalls, cows would break the bolts up the, the brackets at the top. And uh, they used to, uh, the neck rail would slide around as cows would push on them, slowly it would work its way back. And then we'd have to go through and adjust them all back into place. These are actually screwed in. There's a screw up from the bottom there. If you want to move the neck rail, you just have to take that out of every stall and then you can put it wherever you want it. But yeah, it's just, it's easier to take care of this pen. We don't have to come through every few months and fix broken stalls. It's also reducing wear on the building. Those posts there aren't taking the beating they used to when they used to push on them steel stalls. And if I'm coming through bedding up and catching with the skid loader, it's not a problem at all. These will bend pretty far. They're not gonna break. I haven't had any issues. I've caught them a few different times. So yeah, to me, those flexible stalls make a lot of sense. I would definitely put them in again. And at least for the oldest, the bigger cows, not sure if we're gonna do the other side of the barn. We keep our younger, smaller animals over there. And then the mattresses, these are the, I think they call them the Jupiter. It's got a pretty thick foam pad underneath and then this rubber cover to it. And these have the brisket rubber pieces at the top to keep the animal laying straighter and just back a little bit. And these mattresses are working out good. My favorite thing about them is they clean really easily. You can see the, just the surface, it's really smooth. So we come through to scrape them off. We go through three times a day and do that. I do it as well as part-time employees. So it's nice that it's easy to clean the stalls. It's just gonna get done better that way. The water beds we had in before were the opposite. They were very hard to clean. And that was just one of the things I didn't like about them. As well as all that bedding building up underneath, the comfort wasn't the best. We're trying to do things to improve the comfort in the barn. And I, I think the those easy fix products were a good step. We. Uh, Still see a lot of manure on the floors. Oh, the fans just kicked on. They kick on at 70 degrees, so it's a, uh, yeah, it's a warm one today. We'd really like to do something about the manure on the floors, the slatted floors. Um, they're great for, they let all the liquid down through, stays drier, but there's just always some manure there. The company that makes our feed push robot makes a little robot that drives around and scrapes the floors in barns like these. That's something that I'd really be interested in putting in at some point in the future. I don't know if I can say it'd be worth tearing out all your good steel stall dividers to put the, the uh, flexible ones in. Ours were about 15 years old. They were still in decent shape and we were able to sell them for something. So it really wasn't that big of an investment to, to upgrade to the flexible stalls. I think if I was building a new barn, it'd be pretty much a no brainer to put the flexible stalls in. I know they say you could take a little bit off your stall spacing with the flexible stalls. Ours are at 48 inches and we didn't change it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoy these uh, shorter videos. Sometimes it just works out better for me to do videos like this. So, all right, we'll see ya.